Hi Maddie, it's your grandma's friend Jim. Uh, the bees, I think, are at the end of the season. They've uh, stopped bringing nectar back to the hive because they've eaten all the uh, syrup that we put out for them a few weeks ago. So this is completely empty. That means that they're not able to get uh, nectar from uh, trees and flowers that are, are blooming in the area. So now is the time to take the honey. This will be, uh, will take a little bit of time to do this, but this is the exciting part of beekeeping. Uh, when you uh, open up the hive and um, take the bees, uh, take the bees honey for yourself. So let's see what we have here. I took our top box off a few days ago and yeah, we have a lot of bees. What we're going to do is we're going to take the frames out that, um, that have honey and store them in a box. Um, I'm going to take a brush and brush the bees off uh, so we have as few bees on the frames as possible. And I have a nice soft um, paintbrush to do that, nice and clean. So let's start with this top box and see what we can do. So here's a frame that has some weight to it. Lots of bees. So we're just going to brush them off gently. Try to get off as many as we can. And then we'll store this, um, we'll store this frame. We'll never get all the bees off. We'll just get as many as we can and then we'll put them in here And then got another one. And you can see the bees already starting to fly. This is nothing compared to what we're going to get in the lower box. There's another one. Nice heavy frame with lots of bees. Actually, we can do this. We'll sweep the bees off the bottom and then we'll shake them off. The bees really did a nice job on mm -hmm. this top box. Remember when we put this out a few weeks ago? And now look at all that honey. So we'll scrape that off, give them a little shake. Sometimes people use a smoker, other people use a, um, a leaf blower. But I think a brush works just fine. And here's another frame, lots of honey. This might be all the honey that we get off the top box. And they did really well to fill this much. Let me just check the others here. Yep, not much on that one. And really nothing on these end ones. So we got four frames from the top box that um, had honey, and that's a good start for us for this season. So I'm just going to move all these frames over to one side. And then we'll take this box off and then we'll get to the next box where there are a lot of bees and hopefully a lot of honey.
Okay, this is the box that has the honey that we want. Okay, I just moved the camera a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. So let's take one of these frames out and see how we're doing. Oh boy, this feels very, very heavy. In fact, I can barely get them out there so heavy. Yeah, look at all that beautiful honey. Our bees did a great job this year. I'm looking down inside this and I can see honey just dripping from the top these top hive or these top frames down to the bottom. They really produced look at that. I wish I could take my mask off right now and dip a finger in there and eat it. It's so good. But we'll get to that one of these days. So remember, we're just going to take these hives, or this box off. We're not going to take the bottom one off, the bottom two, because that's the feed for the bees for the, um, for the winter. We want them to be able to eat and live throughout the winter. I don't know if you can hear them buzzing, but they are very active. Look at all those nice bees. Look at all that beautiful honey. You can see it dripping from the, um, from the frame. <laughs> 